One of the coolest things with a series like this where we discuss cars from all different walks of life with different purposes, be it performance or utility, is that you can have such a broad range of vehicles within the same grand overarching series. And this just goes to show that. One week you can have a high performance sports car or a supercar, and then the next week you can have something like a Toyota Mega Cruiser. Or, in the case of this one, a six-wheel drive, seven-ton Russian monster. And that is exactly what this vehicle is. It's called the Zil E167. It was built in Russia in the early 60s and designed for fairly obvious purposes. To pretty much go anywhere, do anything, and at least partially was intended for military use, although it was fitted with things like water pumps for putting out fires, that kind of thing. So it could have been a multi-purpose vehicle. Now, unfortunately, it never reached full production due to the complexity of the tech behind it, in particular with the gearbox and the transmission layout being six-wheel drive and having twin engines, but it's kind of a shame that that didn't happen, because it could have been one of the most iconic off-roaders had it actually gone into production. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this monster have in terms of a powertrain? Well, it's actually got, as I said, two engines, two 7-litre V8s, putting out 180 horsepower apiece, and quite a bit more torque, as you'd probably assume, making it a total of 14 litres with 16 cylinders and 360 horsepower. Now, in a 7-ton vehicle, which incidentally is not actually that bad a weight, given that this vehicle is 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, and also 10 feet tall, so, as you can see from some of the pictures in this video, having this thing come towards you would be basically like a 7-ton battering ram. And not only does it weigh 7 tons anyway, but it has a payload of up to 5 tons. So, pretty hefty, all things considered. As you'd expect, it's not exactly designed for performance. The top speed is only around 40 miles per hour on the road, and obviously less in water or snow. And of course, speaking of water and snow, this vehicle has, as you'd assume, pretty great off-road ability. It's got traction all the time, whenever you need it, and although it's not necessarily going to get somewhere quickly, pretty much nothing can stop it. It's one of the ultimate zombie apocalypse vehicles, if you want to look at it that way, and so it's a real shame the only one prototype of this vehicle was ever produced. It was built using parts from other previous existing Zill vehicles, so it wasn't too much work and time and money in terms of development compared to what it could have been had it been completely fabricated from the ground up. But still, it is a shame that it didn't enter production, because how cool is this thing? I personally love it. I think it's an awesome-looking vehicle. Certainly fantastic for off-road ability, not so much for the performance side of things, but that's the beauty, as I said, of this series. The vehicles don't need to be quick, they just need to be interesting. So, overall, it's certainly a vehicle which didn't have its chance to shine, as many of the other vehicles in this list didn't either. And, of course, if you'd like to check out more vehicles like this, which were underappreciated, undervalued, maybe didn't have their chance to shine or their time in the spotlight, as it were, then, of course, you can check out those by clicking through to the full list of this series at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.